Hello and welcome to your 29th Django tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to configure our Django project to be able to send uh, emails. Um, we're going to use Gmail in this tutorial. You can use whatever service you like, but I'm going to be configuring for Gmail. Alright, with that being said, if you do not have a Gmail account, go to um, what is it? Accounts dot Google dot com forward slash sign up. All right, so sign up for a Google account. Um, and then go after you sign up, <clears throat> go into mail dot Google dot com. Make sure you can log in. Make sure you're able to access Gmail itself. And then after you do that, we need to tell um, Google or Gmail that we want to access, we want to allow less secure apps to access our Gmail account. Google's pretty secure, so they're not going to just let anything, you know, connect to your Gmail account. I also want to add, if don't use your personal Gmail account, um, I suggest if you're going to be using this for, you know, production reasons, uh, create a separate Gmail account if you want to send from Gmail. Um, <clears throat> and don't use your personal account. But anyhow, let's go ahead and just, I want to show you how to make it less secure. My account, uh, dot Google, dot com, and less secure apps. And then in here, you'll see this. It says less, uh, allow less secure apps. Turn it on. So mine's already on. Go ahead and turn it on. And once you do that, we're good to go. All right. Now we just have to configure the Django project. So let's go ahead and open up our settings.py. Right below allowed host, we're going to go ahead and add some um, variables. Now, since these are variables that are contained in our settings.py file, all of them should be capitalized. As you can see, all of these are capitalized. All right. So let's go ahead and do uh, email host is equal to um, SM, smtp .gmail com. All right, so that's our email host. Um, next one we're going to do is our email host user, and that's going to be your email address. So email underscore host underscore user is equal to, and a string with your email address. So Mine's mastercode dot online at gmail dot com. All right. Next one's going to be your password. So email underscore host underscore password is equal to. And this time we're going to again put our password. I'm just going to put password for mine so I don't share my password with anybody. And then the next one we're going to do is email. Let's go port, and this is um, uh, Gmail's port, so we know where to, our project knows what, what port to connect on, so 587. And the one last one is email uh, underscore TLS. Did I, did I include that in my notes? Hold on. I want to make sure I'm right here. Uh, it's actually email underscore use TLS and TLS is uh, uh, we're gonna set this to true this uh, inc encrypts our emails being sent so not anybody can just read them so they're encrypted all right so that is basically setting up an email uh, setting up the emails on your Django project now in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to actually send emails um, so now we're configured we can go ahead and say through our views when a user signs up for an email uh, for the newsletter we can send them a welcome message so I'll show you how to do that in the next tutorial until then I'll see you later